Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now oh, let me discuss about the title of the process. The title of the process is Row Network Cover Raja Agri Clustering. That is indicating locality, flow and density. Now let me discuss about the abstract of our process. With the ever growing popularity of mobile devices, example smartphones, location based services system that is called Google Maps for mobile have been widely deployed and accepted by mobile users. The K nearest neighbor search and the road network is a fundamental problem in a LBS. Even a query location and set of static objects on the road network, the K and search problem finds K nearest object to the query location. So alone with the popular usage of LBS, the past few years have witnessed a massive boom in the location based search networking. Services like Foursquare, Yelp, Loop, Germany, and Facebook places. In all these services, social network users are often associated with some locations, example, home or office addresses and visiting places. Such location information is bridging the gap between the physical world and the virtual world of social networks presents the new opportunities for the gain and search on drone networks. For others, in the enhancement work, we will enhance the work by implementing the KNRS neighbor search by using RSKNN called KNN search on drone networks by incorporating social influence. One critical challenge of the program is to speed up the computations of the social influence over large road and social networks. To address this challenge, we propose three efficient index-based search algorithms, road and network index-based and social network-based and hybrid indexing algorithms. Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. First our process starts with uh, spatial data set selection. Here we are going to select spatial temporal data set. So after we select the data set, uh, we have to load the data set into the database. After we load the data set into the database, we have to extract the attributes from the data set. After we extract the attributes from the data set, we have to extract the regions so here after we extract the regions here we have to classify into two types uniform region and non-uniform region then we have to extract the position and we have to uh, update the spatial distance and we have to estimate the spatial distance value Then after we have to uh, estimate the probability value then we have to cluster the region pairs after that we have to uh, estimate the region path distance then we have to identify the shortest path between the source and destination this is a data flow diagram of our process now let me discuss about the data flow diagram sorry demo of our process first uh, in the row network cover pages we have to run home.java so just right click on the frame and click run file home page will be opened here so row network trash act clustering date locality flow and density then click on that frame we have to browse that uh, particular data set so load the data set this is a data set attributes in our data set then click attributes so after that we have to load into the database items are loaded into the database from database here we view the data set our attributes in our data set is serial number id date time latitude longitude and region and then click uh, next so here we have to extract the regions latitude and longitude information we have to update the position then here we are using a correlation coefficient formula for estimating the correlation when you click the estimate correlation that the correlations will be calculated and then click next button so here we are distance calculation using correlation coefficient click view distance can be calculated here and after that we have to extract the regions so based upon the regions here we identify identify uniform regions and non-uniform regions then click extract here is a PDF formula then extract the regional bands then here we predict the probability density function then calculated PDF values will be displayed here after that we have to extract the region pairs regions x coordinate y coordinate and here we have to estimate the STH value for the particular information here STH value will be displayed or uh, calculated here so after STH value has been calculated 
we have to calculate the temporal we are entering into the temporal calculation so in that we have to calculate the time taken values then we have to uh, update the particular JSTH values into the database Spatial distance has been calculated, then update into the DB. That the spatial distance will be here. Here, then here we have to calculate the time taken for our particular data set. So click on the estimate temporal calculation by using. By using the time in our data set. Here we calculate the temporal calculations. It will take some time for calculating. Once the due time has been taken, calculated, then after that we have to calculate the time. Then click next, uh, show region, destination region, and fetch path and enhancement here is. So for that particular information, we calculate the accuracy, efficiency, time taken, graph, distance for that one, and evaluate. These are the uh, complete demo for our process. Thank you for our watch. Thank you for watching.